We have more NASCAR breaking news, and it's on 2007 world champion, Formula One world champion, I should specify, Kimi Raikkonen. You're probably sitting here wondering, why am I talking about an F1 champion in a NASCAR video? Well, you probably read the title, and yes, Kimi Raikkonen is back for more NASCAR. I don't have a Kimi Raikkonen hat, so I stuck with a team he used to race for in F1. Should probably get a Kimi Raikkonen hat if he's going to be showing up like this so much in NASCAR. But yes, Kimi Raikkonen is back in NASCAR in the Project 91 car. And it's going to be at Coda, the site of his last F1 win back in 2018. It's quite exciting. It really is. Just yesterday, we talked about how Jordan Taylor, an endurance racer, international endurance racer, who's won multiple big events in that series how he would be driving the nine car and Hend for Hendrick Motorsports while Chase Elliott is out. Well, now we have another international star. We have Kimi Raikkonen. So Coda is actually shaping up to be quite the event. You got two international drivers in pretty competitive cars. What can they do? And Kimi Raikkonen does have a start under his belt. Remember last August at Watkins Glen, Kimi Raikkonen made his NASCAR Cup Series debut and he was running in the top 10 at some point due to the strategies and stuff. But he was having some good battles with Chase Elliott and some other drivers. And eventually he unfortunately wrecked out. But now he's come back for more. They released a paint scheme. They had a full press release. And I'm just saying, the other two track house drivers, Daniel Suarez and Ross Chastain, their first career wins were in red and black cars. I'm not saying Kimi Raikkonen's going to win this race, but... They are trying to keep some pattern here by giving him a red and black car. What if? What if Kimi Raikkonen wins? Let's read the press release. The Iceman is returning to NASCAR, and this time at a track he knows quite well. Trackhouse Entertainment Group today announced 2007 Formula One world champion Kimi Raikkonen will return to the NASCAR Cup Series on March 26th at the Circuit of the Americas in Austin, Texas to race Project 91's Chevrolet Camaro ZL1. I had a fa fantastic time in NASCAR, said Raikkonen. There was a lot to learn in a very short amount of time, but everyone was help very helpful. The competition was a big challenge. This time I get to race on a track I am familiar with, so there won't be as steep of a learning curve. I want to have fun, but also do as well as we can. I really like this. Now, there was a report earlier this week that... Justin Marks, the co-owner of Trackhouse, that he had promised Kimi Raikkonen that Project 91, that car was his if he wanted it, whenever he wanted it. Um, and this really doesn't come as a shock to me in terms of the track, the driver, the combination, because as Kimi Raikkonen said, it is a track he is familiar with. Now, of course, the driving style is going to be very different. The cars are very different. There's not a lot of similarities. The NASCAR stock car is probably 2,000 pounds heavier than the Formula One car, so it's a little bit more difficult to turn. It's much slower. It's heavier. Um, the steering wheel is completely different, obviously. The gears are completely different. You got five gears, and it's an actual you know, lever pull sequential gear shift versus the Formula One. You got the paddles that you hit on the back of the wheel. Um, so obviously a lot of differences, so it's not going to be like Kimi Raikkonen. Oh, he has so much experience at this track. He's going to go and he's going to be fast it's every single session. It's still going to take some time to learn. He's going to have to do some simulator work. That practice session and qualifying session are going to be very important for Kimi Raikkonen. So he's going to need to take that to his full advantage. But for the race, I actually, I don't, I don't know if he can compete for a win. It's not entirely crazy, but I definitely think he could get a top 10. He knows the track well. He now has time in a Cup Series car, as we saw at Watkins Glen last year, and he did pretty decent for a first career start. He's in a championship contending car. Daniel Suarez has started out the year with three straight top tens. Ross Chastain has led a ton of laps, uh, almost won at Auto Club. Both of those drivers won races last year. Ross Chastain made it to the championship four, finished second in the point. So he's in a very competitive car. Uh, so I think... A good result, a top 10 is very possible. I think a win is still asking a lot there. Uh, but I think Coda is shaping up to be a very fun race. Kimi Raikkonen in a competitive track house car. Jordan Taylor in a competitive Hendrick car. Will Jimmy Johnson in the, Petty, uh, the Legacy Motor Club. I make that mistake every single time. 
Anyways, if Jimmy Johnson, you know, he's never raced at Coda. What if he wants to get in on the action? We could have a seven-time NASCAR champion, a Formula One world champion, a 24-hour of Le Mans and 24-hour Daytona champion, all in the field in decently competitive cars. It could be really fun. Now, obviously, we're going to have our normal NASCAR guys up there competing for the win. Kyle Larson, Kyle Busch, Martin Truex Jr., Denny Hamlin, all those guys. But it's going to be fun seeing some of these guys like Kimi Raikkonen. But uh, yeah, uh, I don't know how much of the paint scheme I showed earlier, but I'm just going to show you some more pictures. Very pretty car. Trackhouse Racing does not miss with their paint scheme. Um, they freaking nail it every single time. Always great paint schemes over there, whether it's Suarez, Chastain, or Kimi, always great paint schemes. They also have some merch they released, and uh, yeah, you know how I was saying I expect a top 10, maybe? Uh, yeah, it looks like Trackhouse is aiming for the win. They have this little hoodie here that says finish first, with the T being the finish flag. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's quite the bold thing, but anyways, um, I'm really happy to see this. I really am. Kimi Raikkonen is a world-class driver. He's going to bring a lot of attention to NASCAR. Um, and he seems to enjoy NASCAR, which is a great thing. He did pretty good in that first race. I really think he can get a top 10 in this race. I think that is a possibility. So, um, Kimi Raikkonen, he's going to return to NASCAR. The 2007 World Champion is going to go back to Coda, let out some bois, uh, run some laps, obviously, hopefully run competitively, but I think that's going to be a very interesting weekend. Kimi Raikkonen, Jordan Taylor, uh, anyone else that decides to join the field. But Kimi Raikkonen, Formula One World Champion, is back in NASCAR, back in the Project 91 car. Um, who else could be in it? I don't know, but uh, we'll see how Kimi does. Let me know how you think Kimi is going to do in this race at Coda, uh, NASCAR at Coda. I expect him, I really do. I expect him to be a, competing for a top 10. Uh, but I want to hear your thoughts. I want to hear what you have to th say about Kimi Raikkonen at Coda in the Project 91 car, what he can do. As for the rest of today, uh, yeah, I still plan on releasing my Las Vegas Grand Prix track tour update, whatever you want to call it, uh, later today. I will do that probably in the afternoon. I was going to release it around 1, but since this is kind of happening now, I'm going to release that a little bit later. I'm going to push that out a little bit. As for tomorrow, I still plan on releasing my Las Vegas NASCAR vlog, so uh, be prepared to check that out tomorrow. Uh, if anything changes, I'll announce it in the community post. And uh, yeah, that's all I have for right now. As I said, Vegas Grand Prix thing later, and I will see you guys in the next video.